the electric vehicle market is bigger and growing more rapidly than most people realize. For instance, in the last quarter of 2018, the share of EVs in Chinese new passenger car sales was 7% up from 2.1% in the first quarter of that year. Expectations are that by 2020, 4% of global new passenger car sales will be EVs. The impact of the electric vehicle revolution on the global economy is wide-ranging. Our report focuses on answering three key questions. What is the impact on demand for raw materials and commodity prices? What is the impact on mining companies? And finally, what are the challenges for the European power sector? Looking at the impact on commodities, we see a stronger market supply demand imbalance taking place in the period up to 2025 than in the period between 2025 and 2030. This is mainly because we believe that in the latter period, we should be seeing stronger mining output on the back of higher investments that took place in the former period. In our view, the biggest positive impact on prices will be felt on copper and lithium. Incremental demand for copper from passenger EVs will be around 170,000 tons in 2020, rising to 622,000 tons in 2025 and 1.7 million tons in 2030. To put this into context, during each of those three years, incremental demand as a share of 2018's refined supply will grow to almost 1%, then 2.6% and 7.4%. Considering that the market is currently in deficit, prices would be very sensitive to any additional demand. Meanwhile, incremental demand for lithium will rise to 215,000 tons by 2030, or a whopping 462% of 2018's supply. There are also losers in this revolution, such as PGMs and oil. PGM prices are set to suffer the most. Traditional internal combustion engines use platinum and palladium in their autocatalysts to clean up exhaust fumes. EVs have no need for them. By 2025, we estimate that EVs will displace 28 tons worth of PGMs, or almost 5% of 2018's supply, and a further 100 tons by 2030, or almost 20% of 2018 supply. Palladium prices could suffer the most as 80% of the demand for the metal comes from autocatalysts. The impact on oil is more complicated to measure as one must observe the total fleet size to forecast the impact of EVs as opposed to new car sales. Despite the fact that EVs are rapidly gaining market share in new car sales, they're only expected to account for 9% of the total car fleet by 2030. Our estimations are that EVs will displace 3.33 million barrels per day by 2030, but the biggest impact on oil displacement will come from fuel efficiencies. Mm -hmm.